We are the, the Jacobson, Jacobson Project. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jacobson Project. Uh, you might, if you've been watching this channel, you're probably thinking, did they start over or am I on the wrong video? Well, no you're not, and we're not starting over. Uh, what we're doing this week is we're raising the roof. We're gonna cut the top off of the tiny home and we're gonna raise it up and reframe the top. Get all the windows framed in and everything. Hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have this thing waterproof and uh, it'll be, you know, a lot taller. There'll be space up, up in the loft area. Um, so it's a big week for us. You know, we've been waiting. It's been a long time coming. Uh, feels like we went and did a lot of work to get back to this state. We had to take out all the cabinets and take everything out of here, which was uh, pretty time consuming. <laughs> So we had to take most of the day today to clear this thing out. Kim already went home. She's got to work this week, but I'm going to come back up in the morning and I'm going to start to cut this roof off. So Jake was just over and we were talking about how to do this. And there is a pretty substantial beam that runs along both sides. So we're going to cut the aluminum top off and these whatever, ceiling beam pieces. So this whole thing is going away. And then we are going to frame up from there. So stick with us. I'm gonna, I'm not sure how this video is gonna go. There's gonna be a lot of work happening. I'm gonna try to keep you up on what's, you know, the process and show you off some of the details, but Let's just cross our fingers and hopefully this thing comes together and you can see how it turns out. So, thanks for watching everybody. Good morning everybody. Today is a big day. Weather permitting, I am cutting the roof off of the tiny home. Well, this is one of the biggest moments of, of doing this project is cutting the roof off. We came up with a plan for where I should make the cut and how we are going to basically get the plate put on to build above. So we really need to have a solid plate attached to the top of the existing trailer and bolt it on securely and then we'll build up, we'll frame up from there. So that's the plan for the day. I don't know how far we'll get. I'm going to be doing most of this cutting and demo project by myself, I think. Jake's coming up and he will, he will definitely be helping along the way. I don't know how much uh, today, but so stick around and I'll show you sparks flying. So during this week, and maybe longer, I'll be staying with Jake at uh, Jake and Betty at the, the old house. Um, it's really soggy up here, so I'm not driving the truck into the in by the tiny home. So I'm gonna get the four wheeler and the trailer and haul my tools in. It's gonna make for a little bit of a process when we're getting materials pulled in there. So it's not raining. I think I got about four hours to work today and then this afternoon it's going to get pretty, pretty wet. Let's raise the roof. Here we are all emptied out. Just some materials. Basically I'll go up along this ridge, drill a hole and then I'll stick screws up through and snap a line on top if I can. So, big moment. It's 
quite the view from up here. You know all that temporary business that I did and said earlier? Well, the temporary chimney is coming down. And I'm closing in on the, the one side cutting. After I get the top cut, then I'll have to go in and nip the rivets on those cross members. And then I will likely zip across the top and take it out in like I don't know, like five foot sections I think I could I could lift. I'll test it, but it can't fall through because it's sitting on those ridges. From the inside, I'll stand on a ladder and lift it off and push it off into the yard. It's hard on the shoulders. This might come off easier than I thought.
like a tuna can or a sardine can. I rolled it off like a sardine can. Ah, uh, not totally. It peeled right off. I started to go back up and I pushed on it and it came came loose. No. Whatever. I mean it's really it's still quite heavy, but that's a nice piece of stuff. Now I am a little bit, I am wondering now what you were talking about as far as the um, flex. I mean, this is holding quite a bit, but should I be putting, I mean, we can we can actually leave these things. Well, that's what it's, it's probably a good idea just to leave them for now. And, uh, your tarp's got some place to lay in. Right. There goes the old rough. From the inside, I'll stand on a ladder and lift it off and push it off into the yard. Try not to decapitate anybody. <laughs> 